Hello and welcome back to Cud Buds with Nerf. Yo. We're back. I'm here. We're doing it. We're back. New we're recording here. session day. Since New... we're telling people about that. Yeah. I I, huh? I like I think that helps. It adds context to my confusion. <laughs> <laughs> to all of our confusion. Yeah. Like, okay, what were we doing? We were combing the desert. You were trying to get on friendly terms with Dawn Gliders. So that... we we're trying to get on friendly terms with dawn gliders. Our inventory is damn near full. It's probably books, if I know anything about <laughs> yeah this run. Anything yeah this run has been very book rich. Oh, and we have two albino a parts. I love that that has a tile now. Yeah, it's really it's pretty nice. It's fun. Kind of wanna finally just take Tinker one so I can learn some of these recipes. Oh, oh nice. We'll pick up feathered. You take feathered out of that three, huh? That's interesting. I mean, it's that or grenade launcher for selling three bits. You but... take grenade launcher over nav? Yeah. What? I don't, I don't think you really need nav past the skill points. Like, oh, uh, we already had feathered. Oh, well. Uh, it's not that you, I wouldn't say you need nav. I, I just like it. Um, and it's hard to find if you want it. And it's also one of the few things you can mod your face with. Oh, we're learning all these. I mean, I guess th that makes sense as well. Rocket skates. I, uh, I very recent, I've been really trying to get the, um, uh, what's it called now? Ceremonial Kopesh. Vibrokopesh. Vibrokopesh. Um, and I fought, and I always call him Sad Bear because it's the only thing that, like. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, he's a bear and he's sad, um, is the only thing I can ever remember. But, um, yeah, I, I keep somehow accidentally destroying the, the ceremonial uh, vibrocopish and uh and then i ended up with the flume flyer instead and the flume flyer has turned into one of my favorite items in the in the entire game at this point. it's pretty good it's it's like we have so many sun runs actually what is in our oh we have our petrol fill of tirad yeah something which is something uh, of scientist i'm pretty sure that's our uh uh temporal fugue is that our temporal fugue we have the traveling rod of Ubamar. I can't remember what that does. I can't remember if we were going to wear it or use it for teleportation. You already have teleport. Level one teleportation is kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's pretty garbage. If we had high... Er but I think I'm just going to walk back to the... Patch notes. When destroying walls near a slumberling, you will wake the slumberling. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered there. We are beyond slumberling cool at this point. It's true. Oh, hey. Oh, legendary Isakari? Heck yeah. Hated by unshelled reptiles. Hopefully. Come on, hated by unshelled reptiles. Honestly, come on, hated by robots. We're, we, were, we were pretty close to being... Uh, we're already pretty good with robots. Yeah. We're, we're beyond, like, turrets won't fuck with us now. Oh, hey, glow sphere. I'm also a huge fan of the fact that the glow spheres flicker when you, like, do anything. They kind of have a modulating tile. We are we are playing with fire on the uh, in terms of our our cumbrance. All right, no no more ruins. This is good. Let's get out of the uh, crazy music town and into the sane music town. I uh, based on on we've been talking, or I I asked you a few questions about how to like install mods without like backup mods, basically. Yeah. And I I installed the three hundred extra soundtrack mod. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, not a good one. It's. I, I love it in theory, and then I when I as soon as I jumped in, I was like, oh, this is like, I, like just really inappropriate. I good music, like I like it. It's just like yeah. I, I can't imagine jaunting in cud. I don't know if that's the right word. That's not the right word. Jigging, dancing, Ixer Masp. That's right. We have the the yeah, legend the, of Ixer Masp. Ixer Masp one through five. Flame of six sided. Yeah, we we had the fan of the one sided die, the fan of the six sided die. Uh trying to remember if we had they're a fan of dice <clears throat> you really don't have a very good skill there's like barely anything to oh uh, i would consider buying that but tinker we're two, not gonna... right yeah try hologram bracelet that's gonna be tinkering three yeah hologram bracelet i think i think is one of my favorite uh, items in the game i'm not sure how much better three of them is oh the try hologram that's yeah pretty nice I'm not sure how um, enemies kind of prioritize, like whether or not to fight you or your hologram. Um, uh, I think it's like an int save to realize they're fighting a hologram or something like that. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I, I would never have guessed something like that. It has some 
weird system like that going on underneath. I had they a... sell off the extra feathers. Yeah. I'm I'm waiting Honestly, for this uh I don't think we can. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll have to wait. Well you can always buy that <laughs> skulk. Uh mash lag is pretty good if you're looking to Yeah. I was looking to just waste money. There were options there. I agree. But we hadn't checked what this chef had yet. So He's a he's a good chef, right? Got some good stuff. Uh meh. Yeah. Just spend a little bit of money to get out of here with something. Honestly, just get rid of some of the water weight right now. Yeah. Um didn't we have a bookbinder somewhere? I I think the bookbinder died. Oh no. Yeah. I don't think there is a bookbinder anymore. He bound his last book. Was he on this screen? Hold on, let's look at the signs. No, it wasn't this screen. Wouldn't have been that one either. He's binding in shell now. Finger coats. That is one of my favorite signs in the game. Finger finger coats. <laughs> the I've, signs are pretty great. I've never thought to wear to to look at the signs. Finger coats. Armorer. Yeah, no, we didn't have a bookbinder. Hmm. So you have had a, a conversation on your stream regarding like timing for when you hand in your books in Reshev floor, but uh, just just for the sake of fun, what what is a good time to hand in all that? So it depends depends on lot on what you're playing, what you're trying to do with it. Uh, personally, my little uh, oh interesting figured I'd start doing some. Uh, so my my guide for that would be oh, we're. Uh, so we were talking about this a little bit, I don't know, a couple episodes back, maybe even the last episode, where as you level up, you go up what's called a tier. Oh, and there's a new friend here. Ooh, a bunch of disliked buys. How, how are we doing with the antelopes? We could, uh... <laughs> we could kill some, uh, some antelopes? Yeah, I mean, we're not going to get anything great out of it, though, so probably not. Right? Yeah. Like, we're already screwed with, like, Kith and the Mirror Caller, probably. Grazing Hedonist might be nice to buff up a little, but anyway. Uh, you go up a tier. So, you go up a tier. Every time you go up to, like, a new level divided by five, right? So, like, level one through five, you're tier one. Level five through, or six through ten, you're tier two. Eleven through fifteen, tier three, etc. Right? Right. Monsters are also tiered. So, you get full XP for any monster that is your tier or higher. And then you get, like... 50% then I think 5% then like 1% then 0 for tiers under you. So as you level up above the average tier of stuff that you're going to be killing, you suddenly kind of can't continue to make uh, XP as easily because the monsters don't give as much XP. However, books, quests, uh, turning in stuff, none of that is... That was just a weird choice. Uh, none of that XP is tiered. You just get full XP for it all the time. Right. We already have a geomagnetic disc? Yeah. Yeah, we found one of those a while ago. Right. Um, just to back up for a sec, what you mentioned wanting to buy the geomagnetic disc data disc. The, what would be the benefit of making one if we already have one? Uh, well, so geomagnetic disc is one of the easiest things to kind of accidentally blow up oh really yeah because so one of the things is like if it runs out of battery power it's just gonna fall and so like it can quickly fall into you know lava or what is going on here <laughs> uh legendary servant of toe no just a normal disciple of toe yeah are we on uh good terms with with servants of toe no there it was pariah to his people so oh okay i think maybe they were just fighting a dong glider or something I don't know. Okay, so tears. Yeah, tears. Um, with that in mind, I mean, like, so would like tier six be a good time to like throw your books in so that you can be like close the gap? Or... Yeah. So also, interestingly enough, like it's a better time to do it when you're uh, like have just gotten a new tier. Okay. Than when you're at the end of an old tier. Um, and that's just kind of like I don't know. Like, do you save? or not you know like it's a choice you kind of have to make um usually i end up saving the books because like right now notice we're getting no xp for killing Escaris, right which is good because we kind of just walk through them with they are absolutely no threat whatsoever 
we have some dong gliders off screen and you can see them on the mini map uh, but our dong gliders we still get 187 xp for every dong glider we kill right now so if we were to go level ourselves with books to level 25 right now which is probably what we would get easily with the number of books we have we would suddenly be getting you know much less xp from dong gliders and then it wouldn't be worth as much to be uh doing this sort of thing right. am i making sense i feel like i'm just kind of like rambling because my brain is half playing a game <laughs> no and... no that's right that's fine yeah no that that's that's pretty much what i've always like I, that's like um a more technical explanation for what i've said um previously which is that like uh when you get to the later levels then you have to progressively fight like really spicy things to continuously earn more or even a a normal amount of xp and at a certain point enemies become so uh spicy that they can kill you no matter what your level is yeah and so it's better to make a safe xp in the later levels from by giving away books or uh your rush floor than by like seeking out um chrome pyramids or whatever horrifying things yeah that's kind of the idea i'm uh it's way easier when i don't have to remember if i'm on the left or the right side of the <laughs> But I, I suppose we are combing the desert three times faster this way. So, uh, okay. oh, Barathermite's nice. Ah, no, no, no! <laughs> Why? Oh, we're killing Barathermite. His, name, his name's Othoko. I don't think we can, actually. We'll have to come back to kill this one. I was, I was just watching Shawshank Redemption tonight. Says, what was his name? What does it matter? We'll have to get... We'll have to get some reputation with Barathermites before we come back for this one. Oh, uh, okay. Well, there's pl plenty of garbage to root through. What does it matter what his name is? He's dead. <laughs> uh, that's well, in the meantime, good. before we kill him... Oh, we just learned about an, the Plane of Chromium. Oh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with a kind of... Is it just, like, secrets that certain people are interested in? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, what did he... Ooh. Ooh. Do you know the mark? Do you know the mark? I shaped something akin to something. The micro inch and the sham rim, volume two. <laughs> volume one was just too good. Just too Flash good. Flashbangs though. Flashbang threes. Does that Ooh. just like prolong the effect? Ooh. It also makes the save harder. Oh. Uh, gesticulating is pretty good, right? I think so. That's plus one agi, right? Or plus two strength. Wow. Is that on gloves, or, like, what can you add that to? I believe that's gloves. It's pretty good. But it disallows floating nearby. Which... Oh, that's pretty... Kill... Yeah. No. Um, on yeah. the topic of tears, I had an interesting conversation with someone on uh, my Discord. But I never plug, but here we are. Um, regarding, regarding enemy tears underground. Uh, so you have to both kind of puzzle out when, um, like, basically how you calculate the tier of a zone underground. And it wasn't making sense because the wiki was saying something like, if you are deeper than six or six strata, then um, you basically just go, you know, work off this like very flat equation um, for underground. And I, I was saying that doesn't make sense because wouldn't the surface zone affect the difficulty of the underground? And eventually i had to i had to actually ping the discord because i didn't know and it, it was that the the surface zone tier affects the underground for six strata and then it but just then becomes beyond underground. that it's just underground yeah which is really unusual to me because it's i, I think that's kind of hilarious because you could be in like deep jungle like really spicy territory go seven strata deep and then suddenly it's just like oh yeah we're fighting centipedes again uh, well, it depends on which, like... And it's not like we're fighting centipedes again, necessarily, because, like, the population table doesn't... There's... It depends on which zone you're in, but the basic, like... That tier is, like, the the given tier of a zone is what's used when, like, it spawns a random dromad. Right. Right? It'll go off of that tier. But, like, the actual population table, which is, like, how things are chosen for the area is kind of defined um basically just like a what do we got here Ooh. a leech pariah interesting we could become enemies to trees 
Or could we become friends to trees? I don't know. I sing to the trees and they never listen to me. I mean, we're at 390 pariah, right? So we can avoid, we can, we can lose a little pariah to gain some tree. I don't know. I don't know. It's a wash. Yeah, I don't mind being enemies with trees. So are you saying that the surface-ish, like, biome creature table still affects the underground after six strata? Uh, it can, yeah. Okay. It, so it depends on the zone. Well, I know that ruins um, are a completely different beast. They they have their own like scaling kind of algorithm, as I understand it, uh, including yeah, especially Baroque underground. Ruins. I never considered. I I wonder if like going underground on the under the rainbow wood would be something. If you can if you're still like swimming around primordial sludge, toasty. It's hard to say, but like if you wanted to like dig through the files, all of the data that drives the game is just like in a folder that you can browse on your computer you know <laughs> yeah you know oh i mean uh i you know eventually you know the person i was dialoguing about this with i just said just go and uh check it out go go six strata deep in the deep jungle yeah report back report back to me let me know I mean, what you, you could see. just go look in worlds.xml oh okay oh we got a nook we got is that two nooks legendary go folk clip off yeah. Ah, legendary ah. Co folk clip. -off. It's, that's three becoming nooks. Oh wow! I always find these ruins when I'm not playing a trukin. <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out. Like I never find these ruins when I. Oh wait, that's not a becoming nook. That's just a. That's just a very. It's just a torch. Fan fancy lantern. Yeah, they decided to give that torch its own. One of these days, I'm gonna make auto disarm as a mod. Heck yeah! You'd have to like. I don't know if you could have like a, a a slider sort of like the trivial like don't ignore enemies below trivial kind of thing. Uh, don't yeah. don't automatically disarm mines below an eighty five percent chance. Yeah, or just still have it pop up the do you want to disarm? Yeah. But then not the you know it wouldn't be so bad if you were. It's just that you also have to then go back in to disassemble it. Do not ignore resonance mines. Oh, we already got that. Extra monoglass. Oh, tetra xenon. Tetra zeo xenon no glass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ruins. Location of ventral nook solil. Heck yeah. But, I mean, did you go six strata down in the jungle and report back? No, I. That was someone else's job. <laughs> oh. That was the that was the job of the person who inquired me on this like algorithm of trying to figure out a creature tier. They were trying to figure out where, how deep they would have to go in order to encounter, I think it was, uh, quartz baboons so, so that they could farm them. I was like, I have no freaking idea. Uh, I don't think that would ever happen based on just going down further. Oh, uh, there you go. I don't think the population table changes past a certain, like, past ten floors down. I could be wrong. It could be that it adds in, in like, an additional... To be honest, I... The... I mean, you've you've interviewed Brian for this uh, channel before. Yeah. Uh, Brian's the one that has done most of the code for those sorts of things. Dang, I'll have to do another series with Brian then. But also, like, the code for all of those things is kind of powered by, like, whatever RNG method felt fun at the time. Like, there's really, like, it's kind of amazing how, like, I don't want to say, like, undesigned, but, like haphazard a lot of the world gen is there's like 30 different methods that are used so it's really kind of hard to like parse out and understand them all right and i mean it's one of the reasons i like i had to look this stuff up in the first place because i was like i don't know mostly because i don't really want to um because i don't want to feel like i have to play in a way where i have to like you know i know exactly where to seek out certain things and play optimally in that sense but also because yeah. it's like incredibly uninteresting to me um unraveling the mystery of this um it, you know it's interesting <laughs> knowing sort of the basic ideas of it but i would never want to kind of use that information well so like there's certain things that you like learn just by playing right yeah uh so if i were to like ask you what it means if you run into banana trees in the desert can you tell me what type of monsters will be in there yeah right like those are the things that like that kind of knowledge like experiential you know i played it i learned it kind of like 
when I see this. Or like you start learning like, oh, Tari, that means there's probably a chest here, even if I haven't found it yet. Right. There's probably a chest or two in Tari, right? But like if you look at the way that's implemented in the game, it's like if it rolls the Tari biome, it adds the Tari population. And the Tari population has a few tar pits and a couple chests, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, everything is kind of put together like that. Like, ooh, ooh that's, uh, that's a lot of Scorpia. Hated by villagers, disliked by... Yeah, that's worth it. Yeah. IMO. I agree. I mean, who are we going to get mad at us? A bunch of spiders? Yeah. We don't want to be friends with spiders. What? That's weird. The spies. The spiders. Yeah, we want to always chase spiders into the corner. Come on. Zoot. All right. Was that uh, phase silk? There's it does look like some explore. phase silk. You can't harvest that? Nah. Mm. Oh, hey. We discovered some forgotten ruins while going up to the map to check to see where we were. So now we're completely lost. Excellent. But not actually lost. Communications interlock. Can't remember. Is that I like think that security? One, yeah, I think it's the secure, the ultimate security card, basically. Nice. Does that work I remember for, correctly. Uh, for turrets? Like the ability to walk up to him and power him down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. That's a that's the kind of knowledge like I, I do want. I mean, it should. If it doesn't, someone should submit it as a bug report. That it, uh, communication interlock should work on turrets. There you go. There it, you go. <laughs> I'm not going to submit it, so if you're the lucky commenter that made it all the way to the end of the video, and you somehow are still on the cut discord because you didn't get yourself banned congratulations i appreciate that then uh, you can submit it as a bug report what a prize <laughs> have people gotten themselves bun banned do you know anyone that's gotten themselves banned oh yeah huh. uh my my general response is whatever uh the reason was that you got banned i agree with it yeah so <laughs> they don't like that answer well this is uh this is a fun i like this are we yeah. we're not fighting a um we're fighting a legendary Aw, disliked by oozes, lucky duck, and hindered of Bela. Oh my god. Honestly, that hated by cannibals isn't bad either. You're gonna make it to like through Bethesda Sousa and, and you're gonna like be able to share a dram with the uh the cannibal. Yeah, the juicing cannibal. The juicing the cannibal, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you're at ninety-five. Oh my goodness. Ninety-five with cannibals. And oozes. We're at negative seventy. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. Petus Templar are always worth the nuke. I do think it's really funny that all of the like items in CUD that help you kind of mitigate item encumbrance or inventory encumbrance are all extremely heavy. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't get to do it last time, so we're gonna do it this time. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna. Oh yeah. There we go. Well, we did it last time. You got. No, plus... we didn't. I thought we did. Oh. All right. Let's... We got one. Okay. Uh, but. We got one plus one, but we didn't get to truly cheese it because of checkpoint and campfire checkpointing. Uh, which is, oh, oh hey, look, we got the first one. <laughs> no right. need to cheese. Sec checkpoint. Yeah, we don't need to cheese the first one. Uh, eater's nectar, one. Cheese ingredient, drop a nectar, cook. Nothing happened. All, All right. right. So because nothing happened, we'll just restore a checkpoint. <laughs> and since we know that cooking with that will not give us what we want, we can choose to just use that one on ourselves. Oh, I see. All right, we got to point it in. Wait, okay, that's interesting. So you don't cook with it? You you just uh, use it? Yeah, because that 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 permuted the RNG again. But what, if you just cook a different recipe, doesn't that re-roll the, the recipe? Uh, It re-rolls the recipe, but the roll for the 60% or the 25% roll for the Eater's Nectar, I think, is on the RNG channel for Nectar. I don't remember if it is, but I think it is. Huh. I think I was the one that made it be. <laughs> that's some uh, that's some really interesting meta strategy. I had not. Uh, okay, so that that's interesting. So it's actually tied to the the nectar um, or, or the eater's so, nectar injector. Well, yeah, the eater's nectar injector when you use it, um, or when you drink with it, or eat, or you know when you cook with it, or like there's a couple of other things that do it too. But they all kind of like share a pool. I mean, we can test your uh, theory that it might not. We'll do a couple of these real quick just to see if it does. So you're, so you're thinking... Just like make a different meal, anything. Well, maybe actually, hold on, I got an idea. Let's just throw something in with it, which will cause an extra roll before the roll. Oh, that's an interesting idea. 
Yeah. Okay. So that one was also a nothing happened. But I mean, that's like, what, a one in four chance? So Yeah, it's a one in four chance. We'll have to try this a couple of times. I could also just go look at the code. Nah, this is more fun. Yeah, see, nothing uh, happened. Um, I, that one I just tried cooking directly again. But uh, preserve exotics, salt. Let's go with mmm. 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 Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> thought you would appreciate that. Uh, all right. I mean, I'm willing to buy. I'm, I'm willing to believe this. It's just uh, it, it almost. Oops, I accidentally like... set the checkpoint after. Uh oh. Oh well. This is for all the marbles and ability points. Nothing happened. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to buy that. So that's an interesting discovery. So let's actually uh, let's let's call it a break right there. I'll go look for the answer in the code, and you can learn the answer. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.